Secret Video Guys here. Today's video, we're going to talk about video storage for your video editing solution. We're going to talk about what's the best storage configuration for your computer, be it PC or Mac. We're going to talk about what's the best solution for video storage. We're going to talk about SSDs a little bit. We're going to talk about RAID, and then we're going to talk about some new technologies like Thunderbolt. So we're going to get started with what's the best system way to configure your storage for your video editing computer. First thing we want to talk about is what kind of storage to use for your system drive, your boot drive. Get an SSD. The prices on SSDs have dropped dramatically. You can actually get a one terabyte SSD for under $500. You can get a 256 for about a buck 25. At those prices, the speed and performance, well worth the investment. An SSD drive is going to see that your computer boots up lightning fast, sending in new programs, opening new programs is going to work really well, and you just can't beat it at the price and performance. I know the Fusion drives are out there, you can still use a 7200 RPM drive, but for my money, I'm telling you, get yourself a 250, 240 gigabyte SSD. Okay, now we're going to talk about our video storage FAQ and what's the best configuration for your storage. We have this all on an article on our website, so you definitely want to check out our video storage guide, but let's talk some specifics here for you. We already reviewed that for the boot drive, we want an SSD, 240 gigabytes or larger. What goes on the boot drive? Your operating system, your programs, Excel, your email, whatever you're going to be doing, everything that's not related to actually your video project. Your next drive, we recommend the RAID 0 or RAID 5. That's going to be your video storage drive. That's where you're going to put all your projects, your media, your audio, your graphics, everything having to do with the video production. And for a RAID 0, we can't think of any better solution than a GTEC G-RAID. I love these things. You can get them with USB 3, eSATA, or Thunderbolt. They're lightning fast. They're incredibly reliable. GTEC G-RAID. You can't go wrong. The last thing I recommend is something that Video Guys likes to say is get an SSD, a small SSD. It could be as small as 64 gigabytes as your export drive. That's where we want you to put your final renders from your timeline. If you're encoding for the web or for Apple TV or I, or iTunes, whatever you're doing, it's a great place to have all those encoded files go. We find that you get a better encoding when you do things like that. Next thing we're going to talk about is different RAID configurations, so you can get a little primer on what's going on. RAID 1 is a RAID mirror. We don't really recommend that for video editing. That's when you have two drives that are copying the same information. Now that's really great for when you're transferring your information from your SSD or your CF drive for photography or for video but not for the actual video editing. For the actual video editing, our number one recommendation is a RAID 0. RAID 0 is two drives striped together for additional performance and throughput, as well as giving you one big volume to, to store your video on. Like I said before, we love GTEC G-RAIDs. If you're a professional videographer, the number one recommendation we have is that you use a RAID 5. A RAID 5 is when you have three or more drives, we recommend actually four or more, in a stack, where you spread the data over the four drives and through the magic of the RAID 5 parity bit, if one of your drives should falter, you don't lose any video and you also just keep on video editing, which we think is really great. The rule of thumb with the RAID 5 is if you have four platters, one of them is going to be used for your redundancy. So if you have a RAID 5 stack that's eight terabytes total, four two terabyte top platters, you end up with six usable terabytes for video, which is great. They're incredibly reliable. We have uh, RAIDs that are RAID 5s available from GTEC with their G Speed family as well as Promise and Cinerate and several others. And a RAID 5 for a professional is definitely the way you want to go. You can't talk about video storage without talking about the hottest new technology in video storage, which is Thunderbolt. Video Guys has completely updated our Thunderbolt guide on our website, our guide to Thunderbolt technology. That's not just Thunderbolt storage, but also Thunderbolt I.O. devices, Thunderbolt docks. It's a really great place to go if you're interested in Thunderbolt. And let's be honest, who is it? The new Mac Pro, six Thunderbolt ports. An iMac, an iMac Mini, a Mac Mini, a Mac Laptop, a MacBook Pro, all have Thunderbolt. HP, ZBooks, 15 and 17 inch, Thunderbolt. HP Z workstations now come with Thunderbolt as an option, and we've even found some uh, Thunderbolt equipped motherboards for you to be using on our DIY 10 article. So Thunderbolt is here. It's a super fast transfer system for transferring video or audio or any other media. There's actually Thunderbolt version 2 available now, and for more information on Thunderbolt, you definitely want to check out our Thunderbolt guide on videoguys.com. 
All right, if we're going to talk about Thunderbolt, let's talk about two of my favorite new Thunderbolt products from G Technology. The first is the G Dock. The G Dock allows you to take uh, cartridges, one terabyte cartridges called G Drive EVs, plug them into the dock, and you can then immediately connect them via Thunderbolt to your computer. What's cool is the D-Drive EVs are USB 3 drives, so in the field you can use them to copy your data, bring them home, it's got two bays, you can copy your data immediately from one bay to the other, or you can, as a RAID 1 for copying, or you can set it up as a RAID 0 and stripe it for additional throughput. The other product that's brand new from G-Tech, which is just blowing my mind, is the G-Drive Pro with Thunderbolt. 480 megabits per second of throughput. That is practically flooding the Thunderbolt 1 bus. The way they do this, it's remarkable technology. It's a small form factor. They're using uh, two laptop drives striped together in a RAID. The performance is incredible. The reliability is amazing. If you're looking to do 2K or 4K footage, or you just want the fastest possible drive on the planet for Thunderbolt that's reliable, get yourself a G-Drive Pro 2 terabytes for $699, a great value. That wraps up our video storage video. For more information and details, definitely check out the Video Guys NLE Video Storage Fact on our website. We just updated some of the charts and tables for you to get the latest and greatest information. Also, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, give us a call, 800-323-2325. Talk to one of our techs, find out what kind of storage you need, and get yourself a great deal on G-Tech, Promise, or any other storage that you're looking for. This is Gary. See ya.